Hello YouTubers, this is me here once again with another one of my top five draft picks in team history and today I will be looking at the Buffalo Sabres. Now the Buffalo Sabres came in the league in 1970 and through the years they've drafted some pretty decent players through the years. Um, some honorable mentions to this list include Craig Ramsey, Mike Ramsey, Lindy Ruff, who later went on for years to coach the Buffalo Sabres, Tom Barrasso, Christian Rutu, Danny Gare, Alex McGillney, Thomas Vanek, and etc, etc, etc. Now, when coming up to this list, it was actually really hard to place two through five. I, I had a general idea who I was going to have number one after I looked at the stats and not to say stats meant anything but in this case it really 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 did mean a lot statistically um, so let's get on with uh, number one through five of Buffalo Sabres pretty much greatest draft picks in their team's history number five is a recent member of the Buffalo Sabres is Ryan Miller and some might argue he belongs on the list, but through the last about 10 plus years where Buffalo's had some pretty good seasons and then a lot of not really all that good seasons, um, he was a steadying force back there. He holds the franchise record for most wins in a season and most wins by goaltender for the Buffalo Sabres, which... If you look at it, uh, started the All-Star game for his team, um, won the Vezina in 2010 as the best goalie in the NHL that year, which, hard to argue against it. Um, number four on my list is a member of the famous French Connection line, is Rick Martin, who in his seasons with Buffalo, I believe there were I'm trying to think of how many. Uh, he was drafted in 1971. He played there till about played pretty much eight seasons in Buffalo before being traded off for leaving to go to LA. Um, had 695 points as a member of the Buffalo Sabres, which is actually quite a ridiculous amount of points for a player to have in his team, even during that era. Especially the fact that that line is just tearing up the league. It's just a shame that the Buffalo Sabres never have won a Stanley Cup with that line. They ran up to against a pretty good Philadelphia Flyers team, the Broad Street Bullies. And yeah, that's that. Um, number three on my list might shock some people he's on this list and he's this low on it. But Dave Anderchuk, 16th overall. In 1982, I believe, don't quote me on that, 82, 83, somewhere in there, um, has played the six most games played in NHL history. And in his time in, in number one all-time in power play goals, and in his uh, time in Buffalo, he had 804 points in a, I'm thinking about 10 years give or take about a decade worth of play in Buffalo, 800 points, so that's like 80 points a year for this guy. And he's very good. Like, Dave Anderchuk was one of those players in Buffalo that really helped make the Sabres a perennial contenders in the league, even though they were a smaller market team. And... Sometimes they couldn't compete with some of the big teams, but at least they were competitive. Number two on my list is maybe one of the most underrated defensemen in NHL history all time. And it's a shame that the 1982 sixth overall pick is considered one of the most underrated defensemen of all time. Because whenever you talk about greatest defensemen in history... Offensive defenseman, it's a shame. Phil Housley is never mentioned. In eight seasons with the Buffalo Sabres, Phil Housley had 558 points as a defenseman. He was getting to the point where he was, by the end of his time in Buffalo, he was a 70-point defenseman. Gets traded off to Winnipeg, which 
was a deal that you could say worked out for both teams for a little bit. Uh, he, Housley, uh, how did I put this? Then went on to become a 97 is his career high for points in a season. The only reason he didn't win the Norris that year is Brian Leach at 102, which really is a shame. Uh, he was a Calder winner. He was uh, named to the NHL rookie team. He was a four-time All-Star in his eight years of Buffalo, which is a immensely hard thing when you think about out of his eight years there, half of them he was an all-star. And he didn't play on too many all-star teams after that. I know he played in 92 and another one later on. Uh, it was a big part of the Washington Capitals a Cup run in 1998, which is the closest he ever did come to the Stanley Cup, which is actually a shame for a defenseman as offensively gifted and as Phil Housley. Um, but... Ultimately, the number one pick on this list, without a doubt, is only one guy can go on this list at number one. And it is the franchise leader in games played, goals, assists, points, I pretty much, I dare say, all-star appearances. Uh, and it's their first overall pick from the 1970 draft, the famous... Uh, we have two teams coming in, and instead of uh, just settling it however they wanted to, let's just uh, spin a roulette wheel and figure out who gets the first overall pick, which my favorite team, the Vancouver Canucks and Buffalo Sabres, had to pretty much set it that way, which is sad. But the number one on this list is Gilbert Perot, who is the... Greatest Buffalo Sabre of all time, hands down, no question. It's not even freaking close. That's how decisive it is. Gilbert Perrault, in his day, was one of the most dominating players in the league. And for people, go back, if you can, and watch film of Gilbert Perrault play. He was absolutely amazing to watch. 512 goals. 814 assists for 1,326 points. Holds team records, as I said, in goals, assists, points, games played. Won the Calder Trophy. Uh, won the Lady Bing as the most gentleman player in the league. Uh, had his number retired by the Buffalo Sabres. Was a member of the 1990s Hockey Hall of Fame class. Played 17 years in Buffalo. This is a guy that gave his heart and soul. And he was the Buffalo Sabres. Even through some of those years. And I don't think it's even fun. Like, it's not even close. I looked at the next closest guy. I don't even think anyone's really even eclipsed any of the other French Connection Line guys. Points-wise. Phil Housley came within 100 points. Well, actually, Dave Anderchuk did. But he didn't play. He spent two stints in Buffalo, so he would have. If he would have played his entire career in Buffalo, I believe he would have surpassed Gilbert Perot's a great saver. But statistically, heart-wise, he carried, like... And everyone says as he started playing, he got better and better and better. And instead of becoming a goal scorer, then he became a playmaker. This, it, It's just insane like how good Gilbert Perrault was. Think about this. 1970, first overall pick Gilbert Perrault. The next year's Guy Lafleur and Marcel Dion, one and two. Wow. That's immense but anyway that's my thoughts and opinions on it i'd like to hear your guys' thoughts and opinions on your top five list of the greatest savers draft picks of all time be sure to like comment favorite subscribe this is me here once again i'll be back next team we're looking at is the calgary slash atlanta flames peace